right, so another night of van camping here. Doing a little, I don't guess you would call it stealth camping, really. I uh, found a Walmart. It's not a 24-hour one, but it's just a regular Walmart. I think they open at 7. But uh, at a wrestling show here in Jeffersonville, Indiana, um, just outside of Louisville. And a uh, show wrapped up about 11.30. We got out of there about 12-ish, I guess. Um, show went really good. Match went really good. It's a two-day tournament for the Ted Petty Invitational Tournament. So uh, I won my match tonight against Kellen Craven. We had a good match. Um, guy's a student of... Uh, Larry Jones, Larry D's Legends Pro Wrestling Academy, based out of Cynthiana, Kentucky. Um, kid's been wrestling for about six months, I guess, roughly. Uh, training for a while. He did really good. Um, this was his, technically, I guess, debut match at IWA. He did a tryout show um, a while back, and that went pretty good. But this was his first actual match, which to debut at the TPI tournament's a pretty good, pretty big deal. Um, but that went good. Um, the show itself was good. A lot of solid matches. It'll be up on um, IWTV, Internet Wrestling Television at some point, I'm sure, and the DVDs will come out. Uh, night two is tomorrow, so resting up a bit for night two, um, which starts at 7.45, I do believe. I gotta be there at five um, just to get stuff together. So get some sleep. There's a Planet Fitness on this road actually that I've used before. So when I get up, I'll go hit the gym there, maybe the tanning bed and stuff, massage bed, and um, get a workout in, grab a shower, and uh, get some breakfast. Got my cooler here with me, loaded up with drinks and various stuff. Bed laid out. Just can't really see I'm on. My uh, other massage table here um, for massage work. Uh, dresser still back here. Pillows. Can't see it because the light's not on. I don't know if I can turn this light on this camera like this or not. There's a flash, but ah, there we go. Cool. All right, we got light. <laughs> Still got my Everstart battery pack. This thing's been working great. Um, I need to actually charge it. I haven't charged it in a while. And I still got two bars on it. So it's working really good. Um, I tried the little LED light and stuff on it. And it works pretty good. Nothing massive. I'll probably get a flashlight or use my flashlight. Um, and I have a little hanging lantern that I can put up in here too. I just haven't put it up. Um, but again, there's my cooler. Got it loaded up with stuff. And then now that you can see it, massage table. Um, I'm kind of using it just to block this window. And then dresser back there, gear bag, clothes. There's some storage down right there. And in the dresser, I have like cooking stuff. Um, other little food, clothing, um, just essentials. And then my bed set up here. Um, this is actually another massage table. Um, they're really comfortable. I just laid it out flat and I undid the um, cross cables because it's just one little bolt that goes back in. So if I have to set it back up, it's no big deal. But I have this one, so not too worried about that. I'm probably going to do a build, kind of a no build, and raise this up a little bit. Um, i seen something with some shelves that I'll probably try. Um, new gear, debuted the new gear tonight that I'd finished up, which I'll post a video about that too. Um, and that went really good. Everybody liked it. So, and then there's a Taco Bell right here also, which I stopped at, at for dinner. Grab something quick. Um, in the morning I'll probably make breakfast. I have stuff to make me something. So... And then I'll go in the Walmart. I want to go in the Walmart and get some stuff to do curtains up in here, um, which will be pretty quick. I still have this chair that I left in here. This it's a the seat stows away, but I didn't want to take it out. Um, it kind of comes in handy that way, and I like to sit in it. 
and then it's got more storage back in the back when that's up like that so it's worked out pretty good um in this walmart here they have the truckers and all that where they let them stop and camp most walmarts do that um i was gonna go find like a camping ground or a uh um, national park or something around here but this is literally five minutes from the venue and everything i need is right around it and i have some friends in the area um i have friends in the area so i could have went and stayed with them um but i'm kind of committed to trying out the van camping and plus i honestly just enjoy it uh it's quiet it's comfortable it's peaceful the weather's nice so didn't want to be a bother not that I'd probably be a baller to a lot of them. They're all like, yeah, come by anytime. But I know I'm going to be getting up early too. So I didn't want to bug anybody. And like I said, I'm kind of committed to doing this. Um, I still have my apartment right now. But I think come middle of May, I'll probably be a wrap with that. Um, I was shooting for the end of April, but there's only like 10 days left in April. So we'll see how that goes. Um, the weather's been kind of weird, but I'm not too worried about that. This van, it's a Honda Odyssey. It stays pretty, um, good temperature wise. If it's cold out, it stays pretty warm in here. And if it's hot out, uh, the temperature stays pretty moderate. Like it doesn't get super hot and it's easy to cool off. So, but I'll get some reflective stuff for the windows and, um, I have a little fan I can put in here battery powered for some circulation and then i have a sunroof too i can always crack it um but i mean for the days i've stayed in it uh between florida kentucky indiana um various types of weather it hasn't it's been actually really comfortable i haven't had any trouble so we're not talking arctic temperatures or anything or super super hot but, I mean, Florida it got in the 90s, so, and it stayed pretty nice in here. I think I had one day where it was, it was kind of warm. I woke up a little hot, um, but I just cracked the windows, turned the fan on, and it was fine. I went back to sleep. <laughs> I can sleep pretty much anywhere after 20 years on the road. So, and I'm comfortable like this. I don't really require much. So, I think I'm going to hop off of here, get ready for this show. Um... And again, I'll do uh, a video doing the curtains. Yeah, I, I just stuck this uh, Arizona tea box up here in this window to block it out. So <laughs> I don't know how good it's going to do, but it was something for right now. Um, I thought I had something with me to put up in these windows. Um, I'm only like uh, two hours from home, so I'm not far from my place. But I'm going to pop in this Walmart and probably do up some little curtains or something like that up in here. I don't know if I want to do curtains or the reflective stuff. So we'll see. But I guess we'll call that one a wrap for a night. Keep this video kind of short. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted how the rest of the weekend goes. All right. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, follow, all that stuff. And we'll have more wrestling nomadic adventures. I'll be posting videos from the shows too. So clips and highlights and shenanigans. All right. Thanks, guys.